So then guys, welcome back yet again to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing a parcel from Soundpeats. They bought me two of their amazing earphones, the Free 2s and the Mini NAC Pro, or the Mini Pro NAC. Now, I'm excited to open this because, as you guys know, I have Sony XM4s and Galaxy Buds Pro, and I've been waiting to see whether there's ever going to be a budget alternative that can ever really get on par with the Liberty 3 Pros, as I say, the XM4s and the Galaxy Buds Pro. These might be the ones Ones, so I'm excited to try it out and see what I actually think of it. Hey, so we have two really nice packages. Really, we have the Sound Heat Mini Pro and the Free Two Classic. Very, very nice looking boxes, considering these prices really aren't that high. And as you can see, they're looking super nice. I'm assuming these are very similar, but this one obviously being the Mini Pro has a few extra features such as APTX adaptive. This one has 30 hours of playtime, six millimeter bio-coated drivers. This one has 10 and of touch control. Same with this one really. So first off, let's get into the first review of the FreeSync. The FreeSync, yes, that's it, AMD FreeSync. The Free2 Classic, and they're the cheapest actually. I honestly think that these guys are going to be very very similar to Soundcore in the sense that Soundcore are one of the cheapest price to performance ratio earphones and headphones I've ever used but I think these are going to sound great I really really do Soundpeats on Amazon have been a very reputable brand <laughs> The seal is really hard on these, so you know it's quality. So, let's get into the unboxing itself. I slide this out. Very nice unboxing experience. I love this. This is so good. For the price, the box itself is just quite regular, actually. But that's fine, because, again, we're coming here for the sound quality more than anything else. I don't think I was supposed to open it that way. No, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I've broken it. I was supposed to do that. Oh, well. Earphones on the inside. And what the hell? They're small. Sick. That's super tiny. So these are the free twos. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so you peel that off USB-C at this price range very good. It feels good and it looks good. They open just like regular earbuds. Very nice. These remind me a little bit more of the AirPods Pro case. Got sound peats on the back. Very, very nice design. So let's get these open and give them a try. Let's first off try the fit. Out of the box, they seem to be fitting in okay. I think the left one might need a bigger ear tip, but the first impressions is that I'm very used to hearing a transparency mode, but these do not have any modes on them at all. They have some decent noise cancelling from the ear, as you can see. Very, very nice looking earphones. Yeah, I think these fit in quite well. I'm going to check the box because inside here we have a instruction manual and some extra ear tips as well as a USB-C cable. So let's just get that out. As you can see, extra ear tips, USB-C cable. Very nice. Won't be using the USB-C cable. It's too small, honestly. So let me get these hooked up. Let me try them out. Let me give them a spin and I'll let you guys know what I think later. Just a quick one as well, you do have to pull off the plastic tab on these if you want the earphones to actually start charging, otherwise they won't. Just a word of warning. So while I'm exercising, I thought I would try out the Classic 2s and I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have been spoiled by sound coming from the XM4s, the Galaxy Buds Pro and many other earphones. I'm actually finding it a little bit uncomfortable to talk with these on right now because there is no NAC and there is no transparency mode. If you do not care about those features and you're willing to put an equalizer on your phone, just generally for your Samsung or Apple device or whatever you've got, Huawei, Motorola, I don't care. As long as you have an equalizer on these, they sound bang on for the money. They really do. They sound great. Without that adaptive APTX, without transparency, without NAC and without slightly bigger drivers, I do feel like I'm missing quite a lot. But for the money, it doesn't matter because if you guys have been using fairly cheap earphones anyway, I think coming to these would be a huge audio upgrade for so many people, especially as these are Bluetooth 5. They don't seem to fit in my ears very well, even with the ear tips changed. When I talk anyway, I like really tense. They do seem to come out. Even at full volume, these are actually very loud. But again, I feel a bit uncomfortable because I feel like I can hear myself in my body and not outside. And I really wish it had a transparency mode. And so I'm going to be moving on now and I'm going to be testing those out a little bit while I'm exercising. And and get into grips with them a little bit more. Obviously, I'm not doing anything strenuous today in exercise, but I will try and you know, speed it up now and see whether I can get some sweat on these and you know move over to the pros. Yo! 
Yo guys, welcome back yet again to another video. I've got to make this one fairly quickly. Let's get the lighting a little bit better. There we go. What does everyone think of that? Is that better lighting? I hope it is, because if it isn't, you can go fuck yourself. Not a lot of lighting from here. What can light us up over there? I think that's dimmed the lights down a little bit more. Hopefully this is okay for you guys. Ignore the mess on my bed. My dog has decided to ruin my bed today. So quickly, I would talk to you about the Sound Pete Classic Free 2s. These earphones simply sound incredible. If you go in the link in the description below, using my Amazon Associates link, you can grab yourself a £10 voucher towards $29.99 earphones and this will make them $19.99 so you can get these for just under £20 1p under and I'm telling you now they're worth every single penny this might actually be the deal of the year you got 30 hours of battery life you got really well designed earbuds they're absolutely incredible if you can afford to I would recommend waiting for this video where they're currently 60 pounds down to I think 40 and these sound absolute like these obviously for the transparency mode the ANC mode and obviously just the sound quality difference these are so good but for 20 pounds this is unbeatable I don't think I've heard any earphones I was just saying to my friend the other day Bluetooth 5.1 30 hours battery life with the case I used to spend 40 to 60 pound on earphones back in the day that were wired that didn't sound as good as these for 20 pounds these are insanely good like underrated it as hell and again as long as you put the equalizer on your phone that I told you to put on them, you will be absolutely blown away. They are not uncomfortable at all to hear. They're not overly bright. The treble sounds great with my equalizer. The bass is fantastic. But yes, you are missing a little bit of clarity. And I'm only saying that because, as I say, I've been spoiled with audio. I've had the Sony XM4s, the Turtle Beach Stealth 700X, the Galaxy Buds Pro, the Liberty 2 Pro. I've been spoiled with rich, full, powerful audio, which I think these are very competitive with. But for £20, man, you have to bear this in mind. 250 100 odd pounds, 100 odd pounds for the Galaxy Buds Pro. These were 40 to £60. Pounds. 20 fucking pounds. That is insanely good. Please pick these the hell up. Not them. They're too much money. Get them. Go to my Amazon Associates link. Look, even my dog is telling you right now. Go and get these fucking earbuds. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. And peace!